The colors are brighter in the United States. They just are. <laughs> If you're going to be this, as many places as I have been these last few years, it's really um, an added bonus to, to take a lot of photos. I started with a cell phone, and Pat and I did a show here called Highway of Sight 1 with 50 photographs that honestly were with a cell phone. Um, and I liked those because they had a lot of vibrancy to the color, although, of course, they weren't super sharp. Um, as far as detail, but... Oh yeah, I think it's great that he's in Asbury Park right now. This is actually only our second time we've been to Asbury Park. We were here this past April, came back because we wanted to see another concert. And this is such a, a bonus, such a plus to come here and see in the newspaper, oh, Steve Forbert's going to be not only showing off his photographs in an exhibit, but performing live. So Because of Asbury Underground, we decided to put up another show uh, highway of Sight 2, we, we're calling it, and here's some of it now. Uh, for example, this is from Austin, Texas. This um, is a neon sign from an automotive repair. Uh, we've got 32 uh, photos in the new show, as opposed to the 50 that were in the first one. But these stand a little bit more they're able to be blown up a little bit more. And I'm thinking that maybe in 10 years I'll graduate to a real camera. But uh, in the meantime, it's a lot of fun. And like I say, it just allows me to, to sort of document all, all the places I go and some of the things I see. Coming into Asbury Park through my life from, you know, the time where this was a place where you were really likely to get a knife to a place where you're really likely to meet a celebrity walking down the street. You come in and see somebody who's been playing his own source of music and soul and rock and roll for nearly 50 years in an art gallery, presenting his eyes on America and playing his music that is a voice of America. And he's a true American troubadour. It's an amazing thing here in Asbury Park. They come over here to look at our... Uh liquor store signs and old motels and the so-called Americana. That's part of what we have to offer. And it's a lot of what I like to photograph. And the colors are brighter in the United States. They just are. Um, and that appeals to me. I like repetition and I like color and I like those nostalgic um, Americana kind of things. Um, and so I find that Chuck Berry, that song back in the USA, it still rings true to me. Um, uh, it, it, there's just, there's, there's just, a, America is louder. And the colors are louder and um, it's faster paced and, um, you know, we want everything now. Well, it was a surprise. I didn't expect to see him on Cookman Avenue. It was a complete surprise. I was like, Steve is here. And so I was, of course, I was going to go in and check out the art. So, and then, you know, I've seen him at McLoon's and I was so excited to see him there. So and that was great. So when I saw that he actually was doing a thing here on, on Cookman Avenue, of course, I was going to go in there. You know, and it was great. And I actually talked to the guy and we talked about, you know, crazy stuff. And uh, I had a glass of wine and it was great. 
So uh, I think it's just wonderful and, and more people should do it. Very uplifting pictures. There's nothing like alternative or angry. It's all joy and it's just the moment. It's, you know, it's so. Um, you can't resist this. Stark red, white, and blue. It doesn't work anymore. All of this is in neon if you look carefully. Uh, when you come by and see the show and you can get a good look at it. But this has the, the bold colors I like. <clears throat> and it has the, the, the Americana thing, and it's got the nostalgic thing. I guess that's redundant. Windmill, but the bag is so colorful. So, I want to take a picture of this, this bag. You know, there are seven locations of the windmill here in the, in the Jersey Shore area. This <laughs> is from right here in Asbury Park. Uh, and it was good with the snow because it's red, it's bright red, and it's bright orange. But against the white background, with the snow, the way the snow falls on these little reflectors, it's just, it's nice to me. I like what snow does. My first memory of Steve Forbert was driving through the Santa Cruz Mountains and listening to KFAT radio. It was about 1980. And uh, KFAT Radio was the wide spot on your FM dial down out of Gilroy, California. And they played the coolest stuff from classic to blues to jazz to reggae to Americana, which didn't even have a name back then. And I heard this guy, and they said, here we have little Stevie Orbit. And I thought, is this a punk rock guy? I didn't know what was going on. And he had this unique voice, a great song, a lyric that brought you right down to anything as American as Texas and Oklahoma and just the roots of the earth. It was oh, sons are ticking, I paid to park my Nissan too. I really can't afford it, but I've done it just to come here to you. I know all the songs and all the words and what the songs all mean. How does your photography um, relate to your music when you when you speak about colorful and Americana? Um... I think the photographs are a reflection of the music, the songs, I, I should say. And when I say songs, I primarily mean the feel of the music, um, which is generally... It, it hasn't changed a lot. I've been playing folk rock for like 40 years now. There's a certain thing that I learned from my friend Jim. You make sure I always understand. And that's okay with me because it's not pop music with capital letters pop. So it's a form that has stuck with me for all this time. I'm putting a new record out in November called Compromised, and it, it sounds really good, but it's still all about the songs, and I like the songs to be songs that you, if anybody still does this, could sit with a guitar by a campfire and sing the song. That, that there's a certain way that we only got to sweep, if we expect to live off of the fact of the land. Voice is comforting too. Yeah, no. So it could be like cathartically melancholy, but that's you know the search. That's what you do because you would think he's constantly thinking ahead and projecting where he's going to go. It's fairly rebellious with a lot of his what would be say fame. This is 
come right up in Long Branch. But once again, it happened to be that it snowed a lot that night, and <clears throat> um, it just lent a little something extra to this sign. These are very real and almost ghost-like. He has a, a built-in falsetto almost to his voice. And it's an angst, it's a purity, and his sense of timing is very eclectic, where he comes from behind the beat to drive it forward instead of stepping all over it. And it's just a very natural flow. And I really attach to it, I like it. Once again, a lot of color. This is just a tic tac. These are tic tacs. But I can't. There are times when I can't walk by this stuff. It's nice to be able to, to, to photograph it because it's such a strong image. Right. Yeah, I admit it's just some tic tacs that are, you know, they're 69 cents a box, you know, but it's also red, white, blue, and green, and it's so repetitive. We support photography as an art and having Steve Forbert exhibit his fo photographs here and that we can see is including his photographs of Asbury Park. So what, what a privilege to get his music as well as his photography right here and at Patrick's Gallery. Well, I got introduced to him years ago with uh, the record Jackrabbit Slim. So I, I remember listening to that and um, enjoyed it a lot. But um, it was really great to see him today. I, he was phenomenal. I just love him and uh, I'm so glad he's here in Asbury Park and I love the photographs and this was a real treat just to see him play here. Uh, it was a thrill. And also if you can kind of remember the first time we saw Steve Forbert, oh, that's iffy because we are probably really enjoying life at the time. So we're really not, we didn't set out to remember the first time we saw him. We set out to conquer the unknown. Hi, I'm Jim Rakosny, and I just saw Steve Forbert at 629 Gallery on Cookman Avenue. Paulie McGovern at 629 uh, Art Gallery watching Steve Forbert rock Americana like nowhere else on APTV in beautiful downtown Asbury Park, New Jersey. Cookman Ave, come on down. I am Harold Zulo. I have just caught Steve Forbert and his music and photography at the 629 Gallery on Cookman Avenue. Hi, I'm Steve Forbert. You're watching APTV. We're here at Art 629 right here on Cookman Avenue.